Listen to this, women. Do you know it's an abomination to call your husband by his name? Your husband is your Lord. How can you call your Lord by his name? Wrong teachings have corrupted our mind. They teach you to call them pet name. Sweetheart. Darling. Even baby. Some call their husband's baby. There is a big problem. How can you call your husband baby? Because of wrong teaching. If you are a man in the house and you like the baby, no problem. Don't go and quarrel with your wife. <laughs> but the truth is that your husband is your Lord. If you must address him, then you call him my Lord. My King. Yes, my King. Yes, my Lord. Some women castigate their husbands. They insult them. They don't have regards for them. Even when they come into the house, they start nagging. You are not a fool when you are submissive to your husband. Some people, unfortunately, are submissive to their boss in the office and not submissive to their husband. Some are submissive to their pastors, yes, but are not submissive to their husband. There's only one person in the world that is mandated for you to be submissive to, and that person is your husband. Some people call their pastor daddy, but call their husband Mike. Yes, the same person that when she's giving something to her pastor, she will, she will squat. He said, Mike, it's on, your food is on the table. The man may not complain, but listen, he's a human being. So when he may not be wrong, he will start shouting at you. But would you know that it was the way you treat him that's making him behave that way? You'll be wondering what we did. But you don't treat him with respect. It is an abomination for you to be eating two meat and put two meat for your husband. I am not joking. Listen. If you have just five meat in the pot and there are three people in the house, put three meat for your husband. Take one, give the other person one. If you have up to ten meat, give him up to six or seven. Why should you do something like that? I'll tell you. Do you know what it means for a person to be a king? A king is not ordinary. First, a king is not permitted to finish his food. And if you don't want him to finish his food as a king, he must fill the plate. You must buy a bigger size of plate for your husband. Hold on. It is very wrong for your husband to be using the same kind of plate everybody in the house uses. Whether you are rich or not, blue for 500 naira, go and buy a bigger plate for your husband. Stop the food. Let it be falling off. And he will want to say, no, sweetheart, don't worry, I will pack them. Just eat. He pack the food, pack the meat. If you have money, buy juice. Sit by his side. As he's eating, you are serving him drink. What are you doing? You are serving him drink. You are saying, my king, eat. My king, take a drink. Let me serve you. You are my king. Treat him like a king. No matter how your husband will be insulted outside when he comes into the house make him to feel like a king give him his self-respect back listen every woman in the house when you start treating your husband like a king you will end up activating that kingship in him he would suddenly start thinking like a king he will start feeling like a king and he will start acting like a king ah! 
take your husband like a king and he will become the queen. <laughs> Every king has a queen. And if your husband does not become the king, he can't become the queen. For you to become a queen, then make your husband a king. <laughs>